Mr. Putter and Tabby turn the page. Chapter One, Reading. Mr. Putter and his fine cat Tabby loved quiet time. They loved quiet baths. They loved quiet naps. They loved quiet thinking. Mr. Putter and Tabby spent their favorite quiet times reading. Mr. Putter loved to read, but he did not like to read alone. He liked having someone to read to. And Tabby was the someone. She curled up on Mr. Putter's lap, or on Mr. Putter's feet, or on Mr. Putter's head. And Mr. Putter read. They had their favorite books, which they read over and over. One was about a cowboy. Mr. Putter liked cowboys. One was about a rabbit. Tabby liked rabbits. One was about gardens. Mr. Putter and Tabby both liked gardens. So Mr. Putter was excited when he saw the sign at the library. The sign said, read aloud with your pet. Well, Mr. Putter read aloud with his pet all the time, but the sign said something else. It said, read aloud with your pet at story time. Hmm, thought Mr. Putter. He liked the word story time. They reminded him of when he was a boy. His teacher had read stories aloud to the children. Story time was a very exciting time then. Reading did not always have to be quiet. And what could be better than tabby and story time at the library? Mr. Putter signed up. Chapter two, a mistake. After he signed up, Mr. Putter made a mistake. Mr. Putter told his friend and neighbor, Mrs. Teaberry, about signing up. He forgot that Mrs. Teaberry loved anything new, anything. She learned new hobbies. She made new friends. She cooked new food. Mrs. Teaberry liked new. But Mrs. Teaberry's good dog, Zeke, liked new too. He liked to find new ways of doing things. And sometimes it got a little too exciting. Mr. Putter was not sure about Zeke and story time. There might be much too much adventure with Zeke in a library. But it was too late now. Mrs. Teaberry was already looking for her library hat. Chapter three, Gusto. Mr. Putter thought and thought about what story to read aloud at the library. He thought about cowboys and he thought about rabbits. He did not think about gardens. Gardens were not adventures to most people. Gardens were an adventure to Tabby because that is because Tabby knew how to make them exciting. Mr. Putter thought and thought, and then he picked his story. It was a story about a bear. Everyone likes bear stories, Mr. Putter told Tabby. Bears are exciting. Mr. Putter practiced his story. He held up the book. He turned the pages. He read with gusto. Gusto makes everything more exciting, Mr. Putter told Tabby. Tabby purred. Reading was not so quiet anymore. Reading was an adventure. Chapter four, story time. On the day of story time, Mr. Putter and Tabby and Mrs. Teaberry and Zeke walked to the library. At the library, all the children were waiting for story time. When they saw Mr. Putter and Tabby and Mrs. Teaberry and Zeke, they were very excited. Tabby purred and purred. Zeke licked a lot of faces. Then everyone settled in for story time. Mrs. Teaberry read her story first. It was a story about a dog and Zeke made all the sound effects. When the dog in the story barked, Zeke barked. 
When the dog in the story howled, Zeke howled. And when the dog in the story ran away, Zeke ran away. Oops, said Mrs. Teaberry. Come back, Zeke, called the children. Come back, Zeke, called Mrs. Teaberry. But Zeke smelled the librarian's lunchroom. Zeke was not coming back for a while. Mrs. Teaberry was not worried. Zeke always came back sooner or later. So Mr. Putter read his bear story. While he read with gusto, Tabby curled up on laps and on feet and on heads. When Mr. Putter said the end, everyone clapped. Then Zeke came back. He had someone's cheese sandwich and a different hat. He also smelled like grapefruit juice. Everyone was happy he had come back. When it was time to say goodbye, the librarian gave Mr. Putter and Mrs. Teaberry stickers and bookmarks free. Mr. Putter and Mrs. Teaberry both loved free stuff. Story time had been very exciting. Chapter five, book swap. When everyone got home, they needed tea. Reading had been so exciting that it made them hungry. So Mrs. Teaberry made tea and raisin biscuits for them all. When it was time to leave, Mr. Putter swapped his bear book for Mrs. Teaberry's dog book. He and Tabby liked dog stories. Zeke was curious about the bear. That night, when everyone was tucked in, they all had free stickers and free bookmarks and good bedtime stories. And Zeke loved the bear. The end. Good night, Sophie. Good night, Sammy.